Welcome back, story timers. Today's read aloud is Where Did Snowmen Come From? by Marion Delnac. Every year, as winter creeps up on us and as the snow begins to fall, after Thanksgiving and just before Christmas, we are visited by snowmen. Once the snow has settled, children pour out from their houses to gather snow from their gardens and the streets throwing together snow people of all shapes and sizes. These are snowmen, snow women, snow dogs, snow dinosaurs, and even the occasional snow alien. But not all snow creations are made by the hands of children. And not all snow people are made entirely of snow. Indeed, the original snowman was not made by a child at all. It came out in a very unexpected way. On a doorstep many years before you or I were born, just after Halloween sat three pumpkins. The biggest of the pumpkins was called Stew. Stew was a grumpy soul who had seen one too many Halloweens for his liking. The middle-sized pumpkin was called Squash. Squash was kind and calm and just wanted everyone to be happy. And the smallest pumpkin was called Jacko. This had been Jacko's very first Halloween and he was excited about everything. But now, Halloween was all over. All of the trick-or-treaters had gone home. All of the candy had been eaten. And the candles in the pumpkin's mouth had burnt out. What on earth were they going to do now? Is that it? asked Jacko. That's it, I'm afraid, replied Squash. Halloween is over for another year. But what do we do until next year? asked Jacko. Just sit and wait, Stu sighed. That sounds awfully boring, said Jacko. That's because it is boring, said Stu, rolling his eyes. So back into the house they went, and in their cupboards they sat. They watched as their family went about their lives for days and days until Thanksgiving. The pumpkin watched as their family celebrated Thanksgiving. There were games, there was music, they watched the parade on the street and the house was full of fun, friends and fantastic smells. I want to join in, can I? Can I? replied Jacko excitedly. This was the most thrilling thing that had happened in weeks. I'm afraid not, said Squash gently. Thanksgiving is not for us, pumpkins, said Stu bluntly. Our time has passed now for the year. Why not, asked Jacko. That's just the way it is, said Stu. We've got nothing to offer other than a scary face at Halloween. Oh, said Jacko. He was very disappointed. Soon enough, Thanksgiving was over and the pumpkins went back to watching their families go about their same old lives for days and days until... One day on Christmas Eve, the mum of the pumpkin's family left the front door open. When she went to take out the trash, something was falling from the sky. What's that? asked Jacko as he hopped over to the door. Oh, that, sighed Stu. That's just snow. It's beautiful. I'm going out to see what it's like, Jacko said. No, wait, yelped Squash. But it was too late. Jacko hopped outside into the front yard and stood in the falling snow. He looked up at the sky and smiled as he felt the snow fall softly on his face. He opened his mouth to catch falling flakes and felt them dissolve on his tongue. He thought this was the best thing ever. You can't be out here, said Squash as she hopped over. Quite right, this is not what we do, agreed Stu, rolling on his side. Why not, asked Jacko. I'm bored and snow is fun. And with that, Jacko grabbed a big ball of snow and hurled it at Stu's face. Smack! It hit him right in the nose. He looked so shocked. For a moment, Jacko thought he was about to get a big telling off. But Stu began to <laughs> laugh. Stu never laughed. Jacko had never even seen him smile. 
Then Squash giggled. Jacko was delighted, but then, smack, Stu hurled a snowball right back at him. I'll show you, he scoffed. Snowball fight, yelled Squash with glee. The three pumpkins had the most fun they had ever had. They fought and jumped and played in the snow until they were completely laughed out. Well, said Stu, that was some very unexpected fun. I'm exhausted, said Jacko. Me too, said Squash. Let's get back inside. But when they went to go back into the house, there was a problem. The front door was closed. They were caught out in the snow. We're stuck out here, Stu moaned. We'll just have to wait until the door opens again, said Squash. That's annoying, said Jacko. How about I sit on top of you both to make sure I have a good view of the door? We don't want to miss it opening again. Good idea, agreed Squash. And so, in the front yard, in the falling snow, Squash climbed on top of Stu and Jacko climbed on top of Squash. They waited patiently for the door to open again. The door opened again, but not until the next day, Christmas morning. And when the mom opened the door, it was not three pumpkins that she saw, but something quite different. Hey, everyone, she called to the family. Come and see this. What is it? asked the dad. It looks like a man made of snow, said the boy. A snowman. And indeed, what they saw looked like a snowman. The heavy snow covered the three pumpkins completely. The wind had blown some twigs towards them, sticking to their sides to resemble arms. Jacko's tiny face could be seen poking through the whiteness. And so, the snowman was created. For all Jacko's sadness about not being part of another celebration other than Halloween, he was now part of one of the most Christmassy things of all, even though nobody really knew it, until today of course. So, the next time you see a snowman that is shaped like three pumpkins on top of one another and has a pumpkin type face, remember, it might just be a family of pumpkins waiting to get back indoors. Thank you for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.